our first ever bonus episode. This is only about five minutes long. And uh, I'm putting it out there because I touched on some things in an interview with uh, the local Fox News station in Chicago. We kind of hit a number of things, included some information about my book and how we got here in the first place. So enjoy. You're watching Fox 32's Good Day Wake Up. He doesn't just talk the talk, he walks the walk too. Coming up, we're speaking with financial expert and former college athlete John Sarasani about his new book and podcast, 2,000% Raise. That sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Hey everybody, this is John Sarasani and I'm excited to bring you 2,000% Raise. This show has a financial focus that showcases entrepreneurs, industry insiders, athletes, and celebrities offering insight that will leave the audience with new gems every episode. Now listen, before you say yawn, yay, another business podcast, please know this one is in the top 1.5% worldwide. It's hosted by Chicago native John Zarasani, an entrepreneur, venture capitalist, author, and former Division I football player. I could go on and on about his credentials, but let's hear from the man himself. John is here to talk about his new book, which shares its title with his podcast, 2,000% Raise. It just came out today. John, good morning to you. Congratulations on the second book. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. I'm happy to be here. And there's, there's nothing like local Chicago news waiting to come on. You know, 82 pounds of marijuana confiscated. <laughs> Somebody gets run over by an SUV. Now to the entrepreneur. There's a lot happening, right? A lot happening. So please tell us more about 2000% Raise the Book and why this book was important for you to write. Thanks. I appreciate that. So, so years ago, I had an epiphany in corporate America. I worked at an insurance giant, a Chicago-based company, actually, that's international, Arthur J. Gallagher. And everything was going great for me. I was climbing that corporate ladder. I had the big title. I had the assistant. I had the office. And I just had an epiphany one day. Wait a minute. This salary they're giving me, this job titles they're giving me, it's all really a bribe really to, to, to keep me working there. I don't need this. I, all the, the, the capital, the product I'm selling is, is my expertise, my consulting. Hmm. So why not leave there? And instead of waiting for that 5% cost of living increase each year, if you're lucky, give yourself a 2000% raise, live uh, working for yourself, build equity in, in yourself instead of somebody else. And uh, I, I did just that. So the whole movement of 2000% raise my podcast, as well as the book, um, is 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 about that entrepreneurial journey and, re and really encouraging people to have awareness about their job in corporate America and consider making the shift to being an entrepreneur. I love that. But I got to ask yeah. though, why, why share the secrets to your success? Uh, so many others <laughs> don't. Thank you for saying that, man. I, so so I wrote a book 10 years ago, and I, I almost did it just like, I didn't tell anyone about it almost, because I, I didn't want it out there. I didn't want so much attention, because I was still growing. I was still moving up that, you know, I was still building my company. Well, in 2015, I sold my company to a private equity-backed competitor. And, and the biggest thing about that is, it was the same job that I had working at Gallagher years prior. And if I didn't put myself on top of that org chart and do this, mm -hmm. I, I, I never would have been in this position. So here I am at 37 years old, sold my company for a few dozen million dollars. I owned 100% of it. Hey man, I don't, I don't need to work anymore. So now I've shifted, become a venture capitalist. And I'm like, you know what? There's a lot of entrepreneurs and, and growth-minded individuals out here um, that, that, that could hear that message. and. I don't care about my secrets anymore, man. Hey, bro, I, I'm from Schaumburg. Okay, my dad was a high school football coach at Schaumburg High School. We're, we're good, man. I, I, I've made what I needed to make, and why not help the masses right now? I love it. I want to be you when I grow up. Uh, I mentioned, too, you played football in college, tight end at Notre Dame. Uh, what did you learn uh, during those days that you think translated into uh, what you're doing now? And I, I appreciate that. You know, a lot of people will talk about – Okay, so what translates into the business world as a football player? Showing up on time, learning to work as a team, having discipline, and all that's true, man. But the biggest thing for me was learning how to fight and learning how to compete. Hmm. When I showed up at Notre Dame's campus after playing football at, at, uh, at Schaumburg, where I'm twice the size of everybody at Conant High School and Elk Grove High School and Front High School, now I'm at Notre Dame and people are as big as me, people are stronger than me. How are you going to compete? John, go out there. Block a Ronaldo win, a preseason All-American. I don't even know the playbook, coach. How am I going to do that? Get out there and do it. you got to make a decision. Years later, in my first job at Gallagher, I show up into that office. I'm 22 years old with one suit and three ties, mixed in and matching my freaking outfits, hoping people don't notice. I'm going against 50-year-olds with gray hair and briefcases. What are you going to do? <laughs> you Once you learn do? how to compete, 
you're in a better position for the rest of your life and, and really any environment. Well said, well said. John, thank you so much for joining us this morning. I really could talk to you all morning, but I'm getting the wrap. Uh, there's the book right there, 2000% Raise. It's out now. You can go to 2000%Raise.com for more information. We got to grab a beer one of these days or something. I need, I need to get some more. Amen. More advice. Free advice. Hey, wait, maybe, <laughs> maybe we'll start our own TV station, man, and leave Fox. Hey, call me. Take it easy, man. <laughs> and that wraps up another episode of 2000% Raise. Thank you for listening. The best way to support our show is by leaving a rating or review on all platforms you listened on. And, of course, by following, liking, or subscribing. Visit us at 2000%Raise.com or at John Sarasani on TikTok and Instagram. And of course, my YouTube channel at John Sarasani's 2000% Raise.